Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Liquid Lore. Today we're diving into the history of the hot toddy. If you've never had a hot toddy, it's the perfect time of year for it. It's freezing cold outside in much of the United States, and it's Christmas time, and that calls for hot toddies. Anytime it starts getting cold outside, that's when I turn to a hot toddy. It takes the edge off. It's perfect. It warms you up from the inside out. You're going to love it. Give it a try, and let's hop right into the history. So there's a popular myth that the hot toddy was invented in the early 18th century at Todd Wells Tavern in Edinburgh, Scotland. I found that that's a little misleading, and the actual origin stories of the hot toddy are a lot more interesting than that, and a lot more complicated. The problem with that story is I found that the hot toddy didn't originate in Scotland, was not hot to begin with, and also didn't have whiskey. So you have those three issues. We're going to go ahead and get into the origins of it, and you'll see where it really came from. So the most likely origin for the toddy is that it started in West Indian plantations, and it started as a fermented palm sap. And that fermented palm sap would be added to expensive beers that they had to import into the area, because at the time, I think this was around early uh, 1600s, they wouldn't have been making beer in this hot climate at the time. It just couldn't support it. Uh, This was before things like the Indian Pale Ale and and beer styles that would eventually make their way into the area. But they would take this fermented palm sap and they would add it to beer to water it down so that they could stretch out the lifespan of the beer and make the expensive imported beer last a lot longer. And that's where you first see the origins of the toddy. So that fermented palm sap mixture that I mentioned whenever they mix it with a beer uh, has a Hindi word and it's called taddy. And this taddy would eventually evolve in the lexicon to the word toddy. And that's where you kind of see the evolution of the drink go on and on. But it isn't until around 1786 that the word toddy actually gets written down and it starts to become something that is familiar to what the drink is today. So in the 1786 definition of the word toddy, you see it as an alcoholic drink with sugar, spices, and hot water. And that's a lot more closely related to the drink that we enjoy today and we'll see the next few steps of its evolution in a second so as we all know the british were very big fans of appropriating from different cultures and they would just steal whatever aspects of the culture that they liked what more than likely happened in the evolution of the hot toddy was they were enjoying this fermented palm sap mixture in the west indies and then it was brought back to the UK, and then the UK's climate is definitely different than the Indies. So what would happen is whenever it would get really cold in those winter months, they more than likely started mixing this hot toddy mixture with hot water. So the Todd Wells Tavern may not have been the original inventor of the hot toddy, But it's very likely that they were the first ones to mix it with hot water and thus creating the hot toddy that we know today. It's not the true origin place, but it is credited with moving it along in that evolutionary pattern. So the hot toddy is brought back to the UK. It's mixed with hot water, becomes something a little more reminiscent of what you know today. And then they also had they still had access to those trade routes in the in the Indies. So they had access to sugar, spices, really exotic stuff that you couldn't get anywhere else. And those made its way back to England as well. And those started being mixed into that hot toddy mixture that was with the hot water. And thus, it becomes very, very similar to the hot toddy that you know today. So like most cocktail history, the origin story is very disputed. Uh, There's another story. It's popular and we need to mention it. It's about a doctor named Robert Bentley Todd that was ordering his patients to drink a drink that had a combination of brandy, hot water, cinnamon, and sugar. And some people think that this was the origin of the hot toddy because of the doctor's last name, Todd. So like other cocktail history stories that you'll see on this channel, the truth lies somewhere in between. It was more than likely a combination of the doctor hearing about this drink after it was brought back to the UK from the West Indies. And then he decides to prescribe it to his patients that had a cold or were under the weather due to its high vitamin C from the lemon in it. And then also the honey has a great soothing effect on a sore throat. So that's probably what happened. It's a little bit combination of the two. And you'll see as we move forward in the channel, that tends to become the norm. A lot of cocktails have multiple origin stories, but you'll find the truth lies somewhere in between the gray area, as with most things. So regardless of who really invented the hot toddy, it would make its way across the Atlantic to the American colonies. And they started mixing it with rum from the Caribbean, with brandy and lucky for them the hot toddy was one of those cocktails that really lent itself to tons of variations and it just held up 
great no matter what alcohol you put in it. And that's kind of where the popularity exploded in the Americas. By the mid-19th century, it was a cure-all for the common cold. This can be seen in the article, How to Take Cold, in the Burlington Free Press in 1837, where it really shows the hot toddy as a cure-all and is suggesting people use it if you're under the weather, have a little fever or something like that. And the article reads, If your child begins to snuffle occasionally, to have red eyes or a little deafness, if his skin feels dry and hot and his breath feverish, Ply him with hot stimulating drinks, of which the hot toddy is the best. So that's directly from the How to Take a Cold article from the 1837 edition of the Burlington Free Press. And ever since then, the hot toddy has been an American staple. But despite its popularity as a wintertime drink, hot toddy is enjoyed year-round. Whenever you need a drink that's relaxing and a little comforting, maybe you just soothe a little tickle in your throat, the hot toddy is the perfect drink for that. So the next time that you're feeling a little sick, or you want to just cozy up a bit, I would suggest drinking a hot toddy. And I'm going to go ahead and put a recipe up on the screen right now of my favorite one. You can start with this one if you have no experience with hot toddies, and then you can kind of make it your own. Um, What I would suggest is the main thing about a hot toddy is it needs to be served very hot. And not like scalding hot because you don't want to injure yourself, but it needs to be served hot enough to where all those aromatics and are able to release their oils and you really get that full flavor in the cocktail. So what I would suggest is a Bon Marie method. And what it is is it's basically a two-pan heating system. So you, it's very similar to something like um, a creme, how you make a creme brulee. But what you'll do is you'll take a, a pan, fill it up with hot water, and then you'll get a, a cup or a bowl that can obviously withstand the heat. And you'll put that cup on the tray that's full of hot water. And then you'll add your hot toddy mixture to that. This heats the mixture evenly and allows those oils to express themselves really well and you'll just stir it incorporating until it heats up to the proper temperature and then you'll fill your hot toddy glass with hot water as well and then whenever you're ready to serve a hot toddy dump that hot water from the glass dump it out and then add your heated alcohol mixture into the glass with a little bit of hot water and that should be the perfect temperature as well as the perfect expression of the oils and the flavors in the cocktail and that should be one of the best hot toddies you've ever had at the very least it's a great foundational hot toddy so go ahead take a screenshot of that recipe i put up try it out for the holidays add to it Make the cocktail your own. Tell me what variations you like, and I'll catch you guys in the next one with another cocktail history episode. Until then, enjoy the holidays. Cheers.